All right, guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we pulled our values using a super global PHP variable called post. So get get familiar with the super variables. There are, I think there's nine total. So uh, Google PHP super variables and compare and contrast them on the php.net site when you get some spare time. Okay, so now that we're all caught up, let's go ahead and build our submit button or our add. What do we call it? I think we call it add. It's the same thing though. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and create some more PHP. I'm going to go ahead and just consolidate that right there. And let's go ahead and create our query. And let's go ahead and create new PHP tags. And again, we can use the same variable called query. And let's go ahead and use the MySQL command insert into information. Do, 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 do. What do I want to do? I want to get rid of this right here. And uh, category fields were menu, position, and visible, if I remember correctly. Okay, now let's go ahead and close that out with a closing parentheses. And let's give it another MySQL command of values. And now let's use our variables. So let's go ahead and create, let me look at this really quick, values, open, close right there. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and put my quotation right there before I forget. Let's go and close that out. And let's go ahead and put our variables in here. So let's go ahead and, nope, no caps locked, menu, position, and visible. And let me look at this for a second. Okay, so remember our menu, we created it as a, um, a string. These were both numbers right here. This is one, this is for Boolean and this is for an integer, but this is a string. So we need to put these in single quotations. And I know I haven't really talked about that yet. I'm kind of sneaking this on you, but when, when we're in MySQL and we're dealing with the string, we need to put our string variables in single quotations. And we also need to put all of these in opening and closing brackets or braces. Or else MySQL will spit this back because it's not smart enough to assume what we're trying to do. Okay, let me look at this. So I think my syntax looks good. So how do we test for this? Well, let's go ahead and run an if else statement. So let's go ahead and drop down a couple more lines. And I'll give it the argument of MySQL query. And then here we're going to have another argument for this new function. And let's declare our new variable as well as our connection variable. And let's go ahead and close this out. Drop down a couple more lines. I know this is going to be an else statement. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it the syntax for that right there. OK. So if this runs and this is true, it's going to execute. So let's go ahead and use the PHP function header. And we'll go ahead and call this location. Um, redirect us back to our content.php page. And go ahead and close this out. And with every header, you need to die or use exit. So I'll bring this up a little bit. And if this doesn't execute, let's just go ahead and echo. I'll put it in p tags. Info. I don't know. Creates failed big time. And you can run the the my or the PHP function MySQL underscore error so it could spit back where the uh, the error was and what line of code it was on, but. Uh, I'm not too worried about that right now. So hopefully you guys followed along with this and your code looks the exact same as mine and I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video.